so we know what a Gaussian or normal distribution looks like. The data is centered on a value with symmetric drop-off on both sides. That's important because when the distribution doesn't look that way and drops off slower on one side than the other, resulting in a longer tail on one side, we get what is called a right or left skewed Gaussian distribution. One of the most important implications of a skewed distribution is that there is not as much confidence that observed values will fall somewhere in the middle of the distribution. However, we can still deduce useful information from a skewed distribution. When we look at skewed distributions, the measures of central tendency, the mean, median, and mode, can help us determine how the distribution falls. On a left skewed Gaussian distribution, the mode will always be the parameter with the value that occurs most frequently. The median will then come next as you move left along the distribution with the mean further left than the median. The opposite is true for a right skewed distribution. The median will be to the right of the mode, and the mean will be to the right of the median. The space between the mean, median, and mode will determine how much skew there is to the distributions. Small spacing is slightly skewed distribution. Large spacing is a highly skewed distribution. Looking at this left skewed distribution of temperatures, rather than most of the values falling in the middle of the distribution, we can see temperatures drop off to the left of the median. Thinking about this in meteorological terms, you can infer that the model has greater spread falling on the colder side of the distribution and need to investigate why this could be the case. Are some members forecasting a faster, colder, more shallow air mass arrival? Is there a possibility that we will see the overall median shift to the left with time to result in colder temperatures than what are currently in the forecast? A right skew has a tail of the distribution towards values to the right of the median. The same concerns arise in that there is something in the meteorological data that is causing the distribution to have values that fall further away from the median or mode of the distribution. In this example, we're looking at two meter dew points for Wichita Falls, Texas. In this time frame, the reason for the right skew was that the Grand Ensemble was struggling with the position of the dry line. The majority of members, about 60%, had dew points at or below 35 degrees for this day, indicating the dry line over or east of the station. But the remaining 40% had dew points above 35 degrees and the tails of the distribution at or above 50 to 55 degrees. During the spring, that could mean the difference between thunderstorms and rain, versus dry and warm conditions. Skew can also be seen on plan view maps within DESI, as long as the correct parameters are set up for viewing. We can see that this image shows color shading and color contours for dew point, and the black contours are the mean dew point. In this region, the shading and color contours indicate temperatures roughly around 40 degrees Fahrenheit for dew point, with the black contour for the mean closer to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. There's a difference of 8 to 10 degrees between the median and the mean in the area we're looking at, and in other areas of the map as well. Because of where the mean lies with respect to the median, we can see that something is causing the distribution to be skewed towards the right, or there is a right tail towards higher dew points in the probabilistic space. This could give you a quick way of checking if there is a skew to the distribution and whether the reasons for this need to be investigated further. Also remember that within DESI, you will have to select the appropriate fields on the plan view maps to be able to quickly see how the distributions could be skewed.